create a I'm sorry for that. I'm so sorry. It's my mistake. No Go ahead. Create uh, a, an account on each one of these two websites. This will help you find out about the job requirements around the world. Because I, I, I usually get this question, Mr. Ibrahim. People keep asking me uh, what I want, what, what do I need to do in order to find a job? Do I need to take IELTS? Do I need to take CELTA? Uh, which TIFL certificate is accredited, is, is, is stronger than which one? The, these, ah. kind, the, these questions or this kind of questions, it, it doesn't have one answer. It, it is not one size that fits all here. You just need to have uh, uh, an account on each of these two websites. These are, they're not the only two websites for, for jobs, but those are the ones I really prefer. And you're right, you choose the, the countries you wanna travel to. These websites will keep sending you job opportunities with the requirements. Through the requirements that you receive, you can decide what you need to do. IELTS is needed to prove your language proficiency. CELTA is needed to prove that you're able to teach, but anyway, you're going to be interviewed. Uh, some countries require, or some, some, some institutions require band seven in IELTS. Some others require 6.5 if you're teaching uh, uh, vocational schools. Lomad de Bloom. If, if if you're teaching at a, a, a university, uh, they, they, they're going to ask for seven, 7.5 7 and sometimes eight in IELTS. But band seven proves that you are proficient, you're, you're, you're fluent, you're C1. If you're band seven, this is the beginning of C1, 7.5. 7 that will give you a job in teaching, okay? So can I ask, again- Can I ask a yes, question? Uh, I, I, I read one, a comment or a part of a comment that says that CELTA is for fresh graduates. Is that true? I mean, I'm, I've been working for more than 22 years now in, in, in teaching. So the so right description for, it, for CELTA it's for me. is it's, it's a pre-service course. What, what do I mean by that? Fresh grads can take it. But nowadays, the, the, the impact of CELTA and the need of CELTA <laughs> Let's say, I, I, I don't know how to put that. It, it surpasses the, this concept. It's, I, I, I taught CELTA to somebody who is 60 years old, two years ago. Why? It was uh, a sudden uh, decision made by the uh, management that any English language teacher without CELTA will be terminated uh -huh. yes. six months. So they gave them six months to finish their CELTAs. That's why that year I received many teachers from this institution. <clears throat> they were 50, 55, 58. So yes, it's, it's a pre-service course, but the, the, the value of the certificate now exceeds this concept of, you know, it's 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 a pre-service one. So if we want to put it one way or another, this course tells all the employers that you're able to teach effectively. You know, Mr. Mr. Khalaf, yes. I didn't excel, I, I, I could teach it two years ago when I was 41, after around 19 or 20 years of work. Okay. Was it an eye-opening experience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, the point is that we mostly, when we work in Egypt, we most, we're not mostly teaching language. You know, we're teaching through the test. But in this course, you know, I learned a lot of things that helped me to teach language, language skills, you know. So I might be working in some place that only cares about the students' results and exams. And this is the case in most of the Egyptian schools. So I'm teaching in a specific way. I'm teaching grammar, I'm teaching vocabulary, I'm focusing on how to an answer the questions of the exam, okay? But when I took this course, which is, you said it's equivalent to CELTA, 
Yeah, I learned a lot. I learned how to teach the skills of the language. So, so it's, I don't think it's about being a fresh graduate or not. From my own experience, I got this teaching course after being 40 and 41. Yeah, so yeah. It Mr. was Muhammad great. Disagrees. Yeah, Mr. Mohammed disagrees with us. Uh, and with all due respect, yes, you, 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 you can disagree. But uh, if, if, you, if you have your master's and you want to work at the British Council the, the, and you don't have CELTA, I'm not sure they're going to even consider the, the, the CV. But again, if you want to travel to Gulf countries, they appreciate the masters more than CELTA. So it, it depends where you want to work. It is not, you know, it, <laughs> so wh why are you so, uh, you know, attacking Mr. Muhammad? If, if, if you believe I'm wrong, you know, you can put it a little bit more decently no 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 no. it's okay you can take your master mr muhammad we're not going to stop you yeah yeah he <laughs> believes we're, we're wrong so it's I'm okay you, you can take your masters i'm telling you this no, out no one is going to stop you yeah, yeah. Um, i'm getting my I'm masters about by, the market. by the way i'm getting my masters huh so <laughs> it's okay i got decent i'm getting my masters now so there's too, no contradiction but... between them of course, there is no contradiction. CELTA, you know, it's for fresh grads and it's, it's a job requirement now, not only for fresh grads. It's, it's beyond, I'm sorry, it's, it's beyond uh, the concept of being fresh grad or, or pre-service course now because, because of the reputation of this course, the employers started to, let's say, push the employees or the teachers to take it. So I'm not, I'm not saying it's better than the master's degree, but master's is theoretical. Yeah, that's it. In master's, they, they will never teach you how to teach. It's a different process. It's a different experience. Exactly. Exactly. And Thanks again, a lot, Mr. Muhammad. It depends where you want to work. Yeah. Yep. So uh, go ahead. Lovely. So. Uh, you can land a better job, uh, better school, minimum requirement to work at the British Council uh, is CELTA. And there is a teacher support program at the British Council that will help you to, to continue uh, your professional development journey. Uh, it's a stressful, but again, it's a great learning experience and the life experience. You will know about yourself during the course because of the stress and the, the, the large amount of work that you have to do. Okay, and again, uh, these two websites will help you <clears throat> decide which course you need to take. As I said, masters is more appreciated in the Gulf countries. It gives you more salary, like a higher salary. This is what I believe. But CELTA gives you the, the essence or the core of teaching. So they do not contradict. Where can I take it? If you, if you, if you want to take CELTA, if, if you want to take CELTA, as I said, it's a standardized. So your criteria of choosing the, the place will vary according to your preference. So if you, want, if you want to take it in Egypt, take it at the nearest center to, you know, to save some money of transportation and to save time. So the, the, the money you're gonna pay and the time you're gonna spend commuting from your home to the center. You know, if, if, you, if you live in New Cairo, Future University is the best option. If you live like in the, in the, the, the downtown near Tahrir or uh, Duqi, uh, British Council or, or IH Cairo. So the location, you need to choose the, the, the nearest place to you. And someone is saying the cheapest. Is there going to be a difference in prices? Uh, actually, uh, this is another uh, criteria here. <laughs> so the criteria for me, number one is the location. Number two is the, the date. Number three is the price. Uh, so which is more important to you as, as a teacher? 
Is the location more important than the price? Yes, go for the location. Do you want to take it? You have some time and there is a course uh, in, in July, very far away from your place, but this is the only time you have. The date is your priority. So I, I don't know your priority here. So you prioritize these three criteria, but those are the three criteria you choose or you, 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 know, you choose accordingly. Radwa Adil says the quality and the trainer, and I wanted to put this as a criterion, but uh, I was kind of uh, reluctant. Some tutors, as I said before, abide by the book, the, book, the instructions. <clears throat> we, we take instructions from Cambridge. The amount of help should be this much. Some tutors, they just abide by that. Some tutors, they just give you their hearts. So they, they, they just want you to pass no matter what. And they spend more time with you. They even keep the, the, the communication channel open via email, via WhatsApp, via whatever means of, of communication. So the quality of the, the, the trainers or the tutors, to be honest, it matters nowadays. So my, my, my uh, question was, is there a difference in price, for example, inside Egypt? If I'm... <clears throat> uh, it's, very, it's a very slight difference, like a, a thousand or two. It's not slight for, for most people. <laughs> if you're going to pay 20,000, it's not going to be a big difference if you, you make them 29 or 30. You know, that, that's the difference. Yeah, okay. So it's not a big difference. Okay, great. It's, it's expensive, as I said. Yeah. Uh, expensive. This is a, a disadvantage. It's, it's really expensive. And it's really intensive. And yeah. the pass <clears throat> fits worse. It's, it doesn't mean that you're going to pass. You, you paid like 28,000. That doesn't mean you're going to take the certificate by the end of the course. But the fail rate is 1% or even less. One candidate out of 100 fails. And to be honest with you, Mr. Ibrahim, I, I trained hundreds, maybe thousands of teachers. Only one candidate failed with me. I started in 2018 to, to tutor on CELTA. 2018 to 2020, nothing. It happened in 2021, I guess, one candidate. 2022 so far, nothing, no, no, no fail. So in four years, one candidate failed. Okay. So uh, if you want to find a place to take CELTA, here is the link. You can also take a screenshot if you want. You write the name of the country, the name of the city, and the name of the certificate you want to take. So choose CELTA. You will find the accredited centers in each country or the country you're looking for. This, this website will help you to find the country. So if, if you're going to search in Egypt, Cairo, you will find three places. Future University, where I work. Uh, IH Cairo or Reach Out Academy because that's the old name of IH Cairo. It's in Duqi. Uh, Future University is in, in uh, Tagam al Khamis, like the fifth settlement. IH Cairo, I also work there as a freelance uh, tutor, like only Fridays and Saturdays, <laughs> part time courses. And the British Council. In, in Alexandria, we have two places now Forest University and the Arab Academy. That's fine. And there's one more uh, thing. Muhammad. <laughs> 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 
هو انا بالفروت كاف يعني انا هو اكيد بس نطاري ما يصدنيش انا اكيد انت انا ما لبستش بلوفرات بجد ما فيهاش شيء انا عمري ما لبست بلوفر تقريبا سكرول اب عماد از اسكينج مي تو سكرول اب Uh, uh, Maisam is saying she's afraid. Uh, that's not true. What is not true, Maisam? If you're still with us, she means uh, that she 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 tried to get a job in the British Council, and they ask for even two years post post Silta experience. Uh -huh. So I think she agrees with you. She's talking to Mr. Muhammad. Uh -huh. so I guess. So. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I want to see Ahmed's comment. Thank you, Ali. Mr. Ali Ashur. Is one of our guests today. That's the nearest, the cheapest. Mr. Dr. Raif Subh Azab is here. Thank you, man. <laughs> so someone is asking, what in Asyut? Is, is there any place for that in Asyut? I don't. Do you think that there is a place for that? Uh, for Celta? Yeah. Celta is, is in five places in Egypt. Three in Cairo and two in Alexandria. That's it. So far. An important question, Mr. Muhammad. Ms. Nahid is saying, do I need to be a graduate from the Faculty of Education to take the CELTA? Uh, no, no. This is important because you know you can use it to just to to to, to make what we call it a career shift. Uh -huh. You're no, not no. a teacher. Uh, as long as you have the uh, the high school certificate secondary school certificate, you can apply. Because if you are 19, you can apply. So older than 18 years old, uh, university entrance level qualification is not like uh, a bachelor degree here. It's the high school certificate. High school degree, yeah, high school certificate. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, C1 English level proficiency. And we, we test that through the interview process because there is something called the pre-interview task where you answer lots of questions and you write like an essay or two. Then there is an interview to check your, your speaking, your fluency. So if you pass the uh, pre-interview task, you will be invited for an interview face-to-face -face or one-to-one uh, -one on mm -hmm. Zoom. Then after that, if you're accepted, you just join the course and say goodbye to your life for a while. I lose a lot of money and didn't get it. Ms. Habiba is talking about English speaking. Okay, Ms. Habiba, inshallah, the next lecture with us in Ramadan nights will be about IELTS speaking uh, next Friday. So we will talk about speaking at this time. Don't worry. Uh, Mr. Ahmed asked, can you explain the strategy ECDW in detail? You, you, just, you just text me. Uh, I think I, I have a video about that, but it's not, it's not the topic. I'm sorry, Ahmed. I have a question, Mr. Khalaf, about CELTA and these, all these certificates. Uh, what if I don't need the certificate? I mean, I work in a good place, for example. I just need to learn some strategies of teaching language skills. And I don't want to pay a lot of money. So how, what, what can I do? I mean, yeah, Silta is great, but it's, it's beyond my financial uh, status now, for example. I want to learn things like Silta, okay? I'm not applying for a new place. I already work in a good place, but I need to learn more. Is there a way to do that? Uh, in, in, if, if, I'm, if I'm allowed to mention my course, am I? You, you're allowed to do whatever you want. You're the, you're the main guest today. Thank you. Thank you. In 2019, I put together a course. I called it CELTA Preparation. It has eight, eight input sessions. I, I took the creme de la creme of CELTA and put it in one course, one short course. So the first, the first session is about classroom management. It's the same one I use on the CELTA course itself. And I just need to say this quickly because people say that you're going to take the material from the CELTA and you're going to take it out. Cambridge gives us the goals. So Cambridge gives us 
only the aims of each session and the tutors design the input sessions and the tasks. So the, ta the, the, the session is mine. I created the session. So I am allowed to use it on my CELTA preparation, on my CELTA if I'm giving face-to-face -face TEFL, I use the same input sessions I created for CELTA, the same ones. So the first session is about classroom management. The second one uh, about uh, lesson planning. We, we tackle planning the cover sheet based on the CELTA criteria. Uh, the third one is uh, how to teach receptive skills. Again, I use a lesson that is actually delivered and filmed by a teacher and we critique it. We learn and we critique each stage. And I give them, I give my candidates a lesson plan ready-made, uh, again, by the CELTA criteria. I wrote it myself as an example. Then the fourth session is about teaching productive skills. The fifth, the fifth one is about teaching vocabulary. The sixth one is about teaching grammar. The seventh is about teaching functional language and dealing with lower levels. And the final one is kind of a recap and CELTA terminology. So I combined the bee's knees, let's say the creme de la creme of CELTA in a short course. Some CELTA grad, grads, some people who took CELTA actually came and refreshed with me. Some people who are preparing themselves for CELTA came and took it with me. So the same amount of knowledge I deliver on the CELTA course, which is 28,000 pounds, I, I just delivered during my CELTA preparation course, which is like almost uh, one-tenth of the price. That's fine. That's great. So Mr. Khaled is asking, uh, what if I have a TEFL off-call course? Do I need CELTA? Uh, that depends on where do you want to work. Oh, yeah. Again, that takes us to this, this, this area of <clears throat> place. Do you want to apply at? If you want to apply at places like the British Council, IH International House, they require CELTA or CERTISO, which is the equivalent. If you, if you want to just work at any language institute, go any school, go to these websites and create a, a, a profile, an account and check the requirements. So some places require CELTA by, by name. Some other places, they just require a, a TEFL course or a, a BA in education. Thank you, Zuzu. <laughs> Zuzu is here. Uh, so speaking Mark, I guess we have about 12 minutes. So okay. if, if people need to uh, uh, ask any, any questions, or if you need to, to say something, I'm sorry, Yanni. I mean, if you need no, to say no. something, yeah. <clears throat> the credit, Ali is saying the credit of the CELTA preparation only goes to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Yes, I created this course. I was, it was the first of its <clears throat> kind and criticized in the beginning. People said, oh my God, what is CELTA, what, what CELTA preparation is and so on. But I created this course because I needed that before my own CELTA as a candidate. That's why I created this to help people who are applying for CELTA because I was in their shoes and I experimented the pain. Yeah. That's why I created it from the kitchen. People because... always criticize new things, you know? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh... What about what do you mean with assignment in the in the CELTA course? Uh, is for, for written assignments, uh, as as I said, if if you joined uh, later, Ibrahim, uh, you write four assignments. They give you examples or they give you the rubric and they ask you to write one thousand word one thousand words for each one. plus lesson plans, plus language analysis sheets. Delta is a whole other story, Kareem. Uh, it needs another session. It's a diploma. It's a higher level than Delta. Delta is a course, just a certificate, but Delta is a diploma provided by Cambridge as well. So people who take Delta can apply to be Delta tutors, to teach Delta.
Okay, so any any other questions? Sorry. Mr. Saad is asking about, uh, is this course for free for English teachers? Uh, we, we, we provide lots of free content, uh, Mr. Saad, on, on the page, on the YouTube channel, on my account. Uh, if, if you're following me on Facebook, you're going to find uh, uh, a series in Ramadan called <laughs> Mudaris English Shatter, this hashtag, Mudaris English Shatter. You're going to, you know, uh, attend the, the live videos and I, I deliver some kind of materials, uh, PDF and everything like that. I, I also deliver uh, free input sessions every now and then, uh, but the course itself is, is you know, <laughs> is my job, is, is work. So it is not for free. To make a professional lesson plan, when actually when you are applying for a job, when you are taking a, a, a methodology course, and if you are being observed, if, if you work in a place that, that promotes professional development, they will ask you to write a lesson plan. So these are the three uh, occasions. If you're doing a methodology yeah. course, if you're applying for a job, if you are being observed, and if you need to help yourself remember what you're going to do for personal use. Uh, the requirements to join CELTA preparation course. Uh, there is like a very easy application form. Uh, it has like a small writing task and the speaking task. Once you, you do the, uh, the form, we listen to your, to your English and we read your writing and we accept you. It, it's, it's way less rigorous than, than, than CELTA itself. It's a preparation course. So I allow people to come and keep improving even their English. Uh, the most important questions asked in the, in the job interview or the CELTA interview, Ibrahim? Uh, both Maha. Methodology, if you, are the, if, if you are Jeremy Harmer and your English is not fluent, they are not going to accept you. If you speak Eng English very well, like, like the Queen, and you don't have methodology, they will prefer the ones who have both language and methodology and one one more thing which is the attitude you the, you know the way you deal with people if you are a team player or not so both are very important we cannot ask we cannot favor one and leave the other give my youtube link you just write tifilism write tifilism you will find that or uh, they, they can share my 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 profile on the, the Telegram, the Telegram group. Okay, we, I will ask this man to do it, I'll <clears> share <throat> the Facebook profile and my YouTube channel. Uh, CELTA interview, we actually discuss the pre-interview task with you, the grammar questions, the, the methodology questions, uh, the phonology questions, we discuss that with you. This is number one. Number two, we ask you about your flexibility with feedback. Because CELTA is all about feedback. If you do not accept feedback, if you, if you, if you feel hurt when you are criticized, <laughs> you're not going to be able to do the CELTA course. You're not going to be able to do anything in your life. So you need to accept, accept constructive <clears throat> criticism with an open mind, like open your heart to your tutors because they're there to help you. Thank you, Radwa. So have you ever met someone who's not open to, to feedback? Yes, yes, of course. And I get them during the interview. Yeah. <laughs> and I write that because sometimes, to be honest with you, you can stop recording here. Can, can you stop recording? Okay, for yes, just a moment. So how to prepare for CELTA, <clears throat> these websites, you can take a picture of them. Uh, maybe this link is not valid anymore. 
sorry. These are the, 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 the websites that will help you to prepare the website here. You can take the picture now. This is the, the, the good one. Number seven, this is Tefilism. Um, and these are the books. Please take a picture because I'm moving to the, the next slide. These websites will help you to prepare for CELTA. <clears throat> and these are the books that will help you with methodology. The first two. And the in-use series can help you develop your language as well. And there is a lovely uh, BBC course, general English course, that will help you improve your English as well. Eat links as well will help you. Again, if, if you want to do CELTA, if you have the money for it, just go for it. Because when you do professional development, uh, the opportunity will come one day. Don't wait until the opportunity comes, then you start developing yourself. Just be proactive, not reactive. <clears throat> so that's it for today, Mr. Ibrahim. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for the attendees who stayed with us. Uh, it's 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 an honor uh, for, for me and for the academy to 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 have a special guest like you, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, we really benefit from your session today. Uh, so thanks a lot for being with us, for giving us your time, and for helping teachers to try to improve uh, themselves. Uh, thanks a lot, and we wish to see you again and again with us in Let's Academy. My and pleasure. For, for our uh, for our uh, guests here, thanks a lot for being with us. Uh, we still have a lot of stars uh, coming in the next Ramadan nights with us in Let's Academy. So please join the, the, the group, the Telegram group, if you want to go with us. Next Friday, we have a session about uh, speaking in general and specifically IELTS speaking with, with, uh, with someone called Muhammad Ibrahim. Uh, I hope you come and, and, and enjoy that. Brother Muhammad Ibrahim or... No, it's or... Me. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, I will be presenting the next uh, session, inshallah, on Friday. Uh, okay. If you're interested in improving your speaking, if you're interested in the IELTS, uh, please join us. Of course, we will uh, tell you and we will send you the, the, the Zoom link in the, in the group. Thanks a lot, everyone. Stay tuned. We still have a lot of bright stars that will be joining us in Ramadan nights. Thanks a lot, Mr. Muhammad Khalaf. Thank you. Really enjoyed it today. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you and all the teachers. And I, I hope I didn't waste your time. No, of course. You, you never did. Yeah, and you're always beneficial. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you on Friday. I am speaking. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good night. Good night.